Hello rail fans, and welcome to Bridge Pride Trains. Today, we're going to be doing another freight car here, and this is going to be one of the newer style Norfolk Southern coil cars here, and it's pretty much just all gray, but I tried to include a lot of detail. So this is what it looks like here. Bridge Pride Trains is a channel for adult rail vans and minecrafters and is not intended for children under 13 years of age. This is a fan channel for fun. We are not affiliated in any way with Microsoft or Mojang. This is not an official Minecraft product. And as a friendly reminder, I do not take requests at all. Thank you and enjoy the video. So as usual, we'll start off with the coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer in the middle, under it, a sideways dark oak fence gang. Then on the next block behind it on bottom, we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail and an end rod axle between them. Then we're going to put an upside down deep slate tile stair going this way on the side of each wheel. In front of it, go five wide of right side upstairs, and then turn around and do five backward facing stairs. In front of this, put another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we'll do an upside down deep slate tile stair going this way on these two wheels. On the side of the truck, put a wither skeleton skull on each side and two vent skates on the middle on both sides of this truck. Then we're gonna go in front of this on bottom with stone brick slabs. We're gonna go right down the middle and we're gonna do a line of 13 slabs, 13 blocks long, one three. Right in front of this, do another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. And an upside down deep slate tile stair on the side of each wheel. And again, go five wide of stairs going this way. In front of that, turn around and do five backward facing deep slate tile stairs. In front of that, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then an upside down deep slate tile stair going this way on the side of these wheels. And then again on each side of the truck, put a wither skeleton skull and two fence gates in the middle on both sides here. Then behind this on the bottom middle, put one sideways fence gate here. Then we're gonna come off this wheel here and we're gonna do five sideways chains above the rail on one side. Then we'll do three grindstones and then across this gap, we'll do another row of sideways chains above the rail. Next, take out light gray concrete, come on top. We're gonna come in the middle off this coupler on this end and do a line right down the middle of light gray concrete. We're gonna stop right here. Then we need to turn around and put a dark oak stair on top of this fence gate for the coupler on this end. Then on this top corner here, we're gonna switch to stone brick slabs coming off the end here and do two coming out here, two on this side. Then repeat on the other end and do two right here coming out to the side and two right here. Then on this light gray concrete, a full row of stone brick top slabs across here. And then repeat on this side and do another full row of stone brick top slabs across here. Then finally, on this outer edge, we're gonna do a full row of iron trap doors across this. And then repeat on this side and do a full row of iron trap doors across this side as well. And then we're gonna add our railings and ladders. So take out a birch fence now, and we're gonna come on the end of the car off this slab, and we're gonna put a column of two birch fences on this corner, two here. Then on the side, add a birch fence gate here, and one on this side. Then we're gonna come up here, turn this way, and open a jungle trap door going that way right there for the brake wheel. Then on this end, we're gonna add two birch fences up here, two here, then a birch fence gate on the side here, and here. Now on top on this second block in, do a row of five light gray concrete powder across here. And then we're gonna come all the way down the side with light gray concrete powder. And stop one block before the end, come across here, and back up this side. 
We're using the concrete powder to differentiate where the car and the cover is. Then on top of this, switch to light gray concrete, and we're gonna do two rows of five across here. And we'll just come all the way down the side here with two layers of light gray concrete. Till you get here, and then come across this end with it, too high. And then all the way back up this side with two layers of light gray concrete. Then we're gonna go on the top middle on one end here, and we're gonna go three wide in the middle with light gray concrete. And we're just gonna bring that all the way across the top, three wide in the middle to cover it. And bring it right down to this end of the cover. Next, on this top outer edge, we're gonna put a full line of stone brick slabs all the way across here. And then repeat on this side and do a full line of stone brick slabs all the way across this side as well. Now we'll do detailing, so we're gonna come here and put a bamboo side on this corner, then one on this corner. Then we'll repeat on the other side, and we're gonna add one bamboo sign here, and one here. And then on this end platform here, put three light gray carpet here, one here. Then come to this end and put five light gray carpet across this end. Then we're gonna go one block over from this bamboo sign on that same level, put a single light gray stained glass pane. And repeat on this end, one block over, one here. Repeat on this side, so one right here, and one right here. Then, next to this, do two polished black stone buttons. Skip a block another one, then a bamboo sign. Then we're gonna skip one block over from that and put a bamboo sign on the center here. Then a polished black stone button, two of them. Then two dark oak signs. Then a bamboo sign. So it's like that. And we, of course, have to repeat that on the other side as well. So we're gonna come over here. We'll start down on this end here. We're gonna do two polished black stone buttons, then skip one and another button. Then a bamboo sign, skip one, another sign. Then two dark oak signs, then a bamboo sign. So it looks like that. Then we're gonna come on this corner up here, put two dark oak signs here and two polished black stone buttons under it. Then come over on this side on the right hand side and again, two buttons here, two dark oak signs above it. Then we're gonna go right here and put one bamboo sign here on this end. And repeat on this side, one block in, put one bamboo sign here. Then we'll add detailing to the end. So we're gonna come up here and put three polished black stone buttons on this second block down in the middle. And then we'll repeat over here. So put three buttons in the middle right here. Then down on this corner, put a single bamboo sign right here. And we'll repeat for the other end and put a single bamboo sign right here. Now take out a temporary block and we're gonna put one on the top middle aligned with this middle bamboo sign so it's in the center. We're gonna close a birch trap door on either side of it, an iron trap door on top, and then take out the temporary block. Then skip to the third block over and go five wide of iron trap doors here. And then same thing on this side. Now we're gonna make some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom with a light gray banner and black dye. Put a vertical on the left and the right, then a diagonal. New banner, a diagonal, a horizontal on top and bottom. Then put a light gray border around both of these banners. Then we're gonna do a new banner and we're gonna put three horizontal black stripes on it. Then we're gonna go to light gray dye and we're gonna put this triangle on it. Then one more banner with just three horizontal black stripes. And this will be for the Norfolk Southern logo. So we're gonna come up here, right here, we're gonna put this one, then the triangle one, then NS. So it looks like that. We will repeat on this side. So come right here, the stripe one, the triangle one, and then NS for the logo on this side here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our new modern style Norfolk Southern 
coil shield car or coil car, whatever you want to call it. So I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.